Good evening, everybody. Joe Patty here. And tonight, I'm going to make something called, well, I'm going to call it the Copper Bee. And of course, that's Ari eating in the background. She's always eating or drinking or something. She's bored, everybody. <laughs> okay, so I got a new mold. And there's a little bee in there. If you can see it or not, let's see. There you go. And I'm going to do this in two parts. So I don't even know if I'm going to use it as a small coaster or a paperweight. And I'm thinking I'm going to do opposites. So like tonight, I'm going to make a copper bee with a gold background. And then tomorrow, I'm going to make a gold bee with a copper background. And I got some tools out here because I'm not sure what I'm going to use. But my resin's mixed up and ready to go. And I am using the uh, primary elements copper. And then the primary elements gold. Then I also put in there my ice resin fire opals. Okay, so let's see here how I'm going to do this without spilling it all over the other side. So I think I'm just going to try scooping some out like this. I'm putting it in the bee. I'm afraid if I just start pouring, it's going to uh, get all um, up where I don't want it to be. And then I'll gently pop the bubbles. Let me see here. You better stop there. Because I just want to see how that turns out. I'm going to let that cure for about, hmm, I don't know, five or six hours or possibly overnight. And then go ahead and add the gold on top. Now let's pop a few bubbles because you have to do that quickly. Don't you start popping bubbles when the resin starts the curing process, which is pretty fast. Um, if you pop bubbles when the resin's already really in, well into the curing process, you're going to get dimples in your artwork. So I, that's, I figured that out. So, okay. Well, I'm going to put this stuff away and then see what it looks like in the morning. All right, everyone. It has been approximately four hours. And I went to bed and was doing my meditation and stuff and I just couldn't sleep, so I decided to get up and go ahead and do the gold on top of here. I poured a little bit of that, what was left over, in just a small little silicone circle, just, to, just for funsies. I didn't want to waste the resin, and I wasn't prepared to start a new project, so I just did that. Now, what I've done was I've mixed up two tablespoons of resin in here, and I added a little bit of that uh, ice resin opal, the fire opal, with a little scooper out of here. And then what I did was uh, I added six drops of the pinata color in gold liquid ink. I did that, put the lid on there, instead of using the primary elements gold. I wanted something a little bit more um, translucent, so to speak. Okay, here we go. Let's pour this on top here and see what happens. Pancake batter a little bit. Pop them bubbles. I'm going to have to leave it alone at some point. Now we wait. Now it's been overnight. Let's see what we got here. This is just that little one because I didn't want to waste any resin. It's still bendable. We can actually make a little petri dish out of this one. You can mold it into something or mold it into whatever you want. 
Just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Eh, it's just a little something something. It's actually too small for a coffee mug, so. You could use it for a coffee mug, to put your uh, coffee mug or something on there, but the thing is, this is not cured enough to put that hot coffee on there, but, you know, you might not be paying attention, you'd be bumping it or set your coffee like that, so I don't know if you'd want to use it for a coffee mug, a holder. <laughs> I don't know if you want to use it for that or not. All right, now let's do this one, everybody. Ooh, ooh, mama like it. Oh, wow, that's really neat, you guys. I really like that. Look at that. It does. It looks like a, it looks like a real honeycomb. That is so cool. That's really cool. I love it. Look at that. I have to make a few more of these, a little bit thicker, and then they can't be paperweights because... It's a, a little light and sticky. Oh my God, I love it, you guys. I really, really love it. And I think next, what we're going to do is look what I got in the mail. Look what I ordered. These. Look at that, you guys. We'll make some poo. They got some really cool, all the little emoji ones. We can have a lot of fun making those. We could put three together and make a coaster out of those. And they're shiny on the inside. So that's going to be fun. We'll try that. All right, everybody. Well, here's your meditation thought for today. The true benefit of meditation is a mind at ease, free from fear. So on that note, everybody, grab your glue gun and your glitters. Don't forget your ruby slippers. In other words, do it your way, any way you want. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon back in the studio.